guys, I'm Stephanie, and this is Steph Stove. And today we're gonna to be making a salad because it is summertime and as the temperatures get warmer, we tend to enjoy a lot of cooler, refreshing salads. Now this one is the one that I've had um, throughout my lifetime. My mammy, my grandmother, used to make this all the time for one of my uncles who absolutely loved this. And the rest of us just got to enjoy, but primarily it was for Uncle Hollis. So this is none other than tomato cracker salad. You can make this with fresh tomatoes or sometimes if um, my grandmother didn't have fresh tomatoes on hand, it was later in the year, she would make it with the tomatoes that she had canned, which were the most amazing tomatoes that you've ever had. So I'm gonna show you how to make this wonderful salad that's quick and easy, Georgia tomato cracker salad. Here we go. All right, to get this salad recipe started, um, you're gonna need some tomatoes. Now, um, I like to get these tomatoes and you can see they're a little damp because I just washed them on the vine. But this is four kind of medium size. They fit about into the palm of my hand. And that's what I'm looking for. You want these extremely ripe. So you kind of don't want them green. Get these off the vine. I like to leave these on the vine until I get ready to use them. because they continue to ripen. I'm gonna dry these off a tad and then to start these off we're going to come in and you're going to cut off just the outer top right here that has the little stem part that's all you're going to cut to start with so i'm going to go through and i'm going to cut these and again this is kind of rustic you don't have to be really particular with this you can have larger cuts, smaller cuts. It's kind of up to you and your personal preference is how you'd want to do it. And then we're gonna come in and I'm just gonna make slices of each one. And now they will juice and you'll have the seeds and everything coming out. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna take care of that too. All right, and oh, look at that pretty tomato. Oh. And then we're just gonna slice this up. I like them in bite-sized pieces one or two at a time. So I'm going across and down. Make about three cuts in this one. Across this one, I'll do together. And you can see I'm just kind of making a little rough chop. You don't need this itty bitty. You're not trying to pulverize this. So I'm gonna use my little bench scraper here to get all my tomatoes put in a medium sized bowl. And I am taking the seeds and the juice, so that's why we want to continue to use those. Now I'm gonna continue to cut these other three up and add those to the bowl, and I'll be right back. All righty, so I'm finishing up that last tomato right there. So those wonderful juices, it just smells like summertime. Getting all those up in there, move that to the side. I love this cutting board I just got. My husband got it for me for Mother's Day. It's got this nice little ridge around it. I love it. So nothing drips down. All right, so I have in here my four tomatoes and you see they're just roughly chopped. Nothing special here. So you don't have to get real fancy with your chopping skills or anything like that. Just cut them according to your preference and think of about a bite size. Now I'm gonna to add to this some salt because we want to draw out the flavor. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna to try to shake this. I know some of it's going on the tomatoes, but that's fine. I'm trying to just eyeball that I get about half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using um, coarse kosher salt for this. If you have regular table salt you wanna use, or pink Himalayan salt is perfectly fine as well. I'm gonna add some um, cracked black pepper, about the same, maybe a quarter teaspoon. That looks about right, because salt, pepper, and tomatoes, mm, just perfect right there. And then I'm just gonna mix these up, because we wanna give them a few minutes, and you can see that they are already releasing even more of their juices. You want that to happen. Tomato -y goodness. And you can see it happens really quickly. See all that juice in there? 
perfect. Now, if you're an onion lover, if you want to add some onion to it, you can. If you have some Vidalia onion, some red onions, if you want a little bit more of a bite. If not, you can add a little onion powder to this. I'm going to add just a little bit of onion powder. And I would say season according to your personal um, preference or, you know, season with your heart. A little garlic powder, just because I like some, not a lot. And just rough it around. And again, if you wanted to stop with salt and pepper, it's equally as good. Not a problem here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some mayonnaise. Now, I know I said before, I like blue plate mayonnaise. I had a viewer ask me, said that they didn't have blue plate where that they were. They didn't live in the South, and that's fine. Um, they asked me about Dukes, and uh, Dukes is a great mayonnaise. It's probably pretty good. Blue plate is a really creamy mayonnaise. It's made with a lot of egg yolks, and so it's really creamy. It does have a distinct egg egginess to it that I like and so I just grew up eating it and that's what I use so if you can't find it use whatever is your choice now we've got a lot of liquid in here so you're gonna want to add anywhere between half and a cup of mayonnaise so I'm gonna start with about half of it because you can't take it out once you put it in there so I'm gonna do about half of the mixture that I have and you're just going to coat, kind of get it all around there. Looking like so. All right, and that was that half mixture. I think mine produced a lot of juice. So again, you're gonna to have to kind of eyeball it. And I would say even a half or um, don't go over a cup of mayonnaise because you don't want it soupy. That's not what you want. And then we're gonna add saltine crackers because I said it's tomato cracker salad. So we need at least one sleeve is about how many that you're gonna need of regular saltine crackers. Kind of some people call them soda crackers. And I'm just gonna take a few out at a time because we are gonna use the whole sleeve. And I'm gonna crunch. Now, you can see that I didn't break every one of them up. They don't, they're not pulverized. In other words, smash beyond recognition. You just, you want some big pieces in there. Keep going. And if you're a fan, like I love tomatoes. I absolutely love tomatoes. But if you like tomato sandwiches in the summertime, this salad kind of um, duplicates or is very similar to the taste profile that you'll have with that. I'm just gonna mix it up. The saltines are gonna enjoy, uh, they are gonna absorb, they're gonna enjoy themselves. <laughs> they're gonna absorb that juice. Oh, look at that. I always remember that pink color. My Uncle Hollis used to absolutely love this. Even at holidays, he's like, Mammy, make me some cracker salad. He said, Mammy, you got some tomatoes. You, ooh, you got some saltines. And she said, I'll make you some cracker salad. He loved this. My dad was a fond, fond of this too, but not as much as my uncle. He was a huge fan. All right. Now, like we're almost absorbed and you want some of those chunks in there. So I'm gonna um, pause and walk over to the um, refrigerator for just a minute. I'm gonna get a little parsley and add on top just to be pretty and I'll be right back. All right, got me a little parsley here. You hear a little jingling in the background. That's my grand cat, my daughter's cat that's staying with me, he spent the weekend with me. So I'm gonna get some parsley and I'm just going to chop this up, kind of give it a rough chop here. He hears me cutting things up and he's thinking that it's for him, but it's not. Type he doesn't make a surprise appearance. All right, and we're just gonna put that on top just to be pretty. You don't have to, it's just as good as it is, but there we have it, beautiful tomato cracker salad. I'm Stephanie and this has been Steph Stag. For today, we made Georgia tomato cracker salad, something my grandmother enjoyed, my mammy, made for us many times growing up. Um, I don't really know the origin of this recipe other than I think it was just a cheat meal that people 
could put together where they could eat it as a meal or as a side. Tomato saltines, they had tomato saltines are cheap. And really you can add to it accordingly. But the basic simple recipe with just the salt, pepper, tomatoes and saltines is really um, what most of us grew up with, especially the us in the South. So I do hope you enjoy this as much as I have throughout the years. My family's absolutely loved it. I did say that my grandmother um, sometimes would make this with canned tomatoes that she would can, and you absolutely can do that too. You do wanna pour off a lot of the juice um, from the canned tomatoes, chop them up bite size if they're not already so, and then salt and pepper them accordingly. So you don't want too much juice because when you add the salt and pepper, they will produce even more juice. So I do hope you enjoy this wonderful Georgia tomato cracker salad. Um, this is not something, I will tell you this too, this is not something that you can make a lot in advance. You need to consume it the day you make it because it does not, excuse me, it does not preserve very well just because it gets even more mushy and you want the crackers crunchy and delicious. So. If you like tomatoes, if you like saltines, if you like tomato sandwiches in the summer, this salad's for you. And yes, I'm going in because this is my bowl. So, enjoy. Mmm. You'd be proud, Mammy. It's good. Mmm. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, Steph Steph, we're making memories one dish at a time. Have a great day.